Hey guys, it's Jimmy with my challenge production values here with the light and the fan, but um, really struck um, by some words in Luke in a section in my NIV that reads, Jesus heals 10 men with leprosy. And the overall thing that really strikes me in this passage is the spirit of thankfulness and whether or not we are thankful to Christ who is ultimately God. And so what happened now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw this, when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Thankfulness. Only one of the ten come back. And I love Christ at the end going, where are the other nine? It reminds me of like a coy, a parent or somebody saying, didn't you clean your room? You know, Jesus knows the answer here. Um, but he's questioning why the others didn't come back. And then he says, Will they not give praise to me, one of ten people healed of this horrific disease that would have made them not just, not just uh, physically ill, but really outcast in that society. Only one comes back. I was reminded of a friend uh, in New York who years ago we used to play cards, and he said that he got a friend um, a job from as a photographer that led to something crazy like $75,000 worth of business. And the friend never thanked him, never gave him anything in return. Now... We're supposed to do things without expecting anything in return. But what strikes me about my friend, who's not really an identified Christian, is that he did kind of a Christian act, which is to pass along business, and then the guy didn't come back to give him any kind of thanks. So two things there. Do we have thankful hearts? And if you're a Christian out there, are you ultimately thanking God in Christ for all he's done for you every day? Or do we just receive and keep moving forward and never give thanks? Um, and so much else also strikes me in that passage. If you wanted to look at it, it is Luke um, 17, 11 through 19. And at the end, he says, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. It is faith that heals. It is faith that makes us whole. Thanks so much. God bless your day.